Okay, hopefully this works. <laughs> I'm really terrible at setting things up technically. Um, so my deep apologies if this is a terrible video. But um, uh, I'm on holidays at the moment. I have the luxury of a lot of time, uh, our little guys at tennis camp. And so I've got to hang out here in the studio and play things and think and uh, this is what I've ended up making. Um, so uh, hopefully there will be a video just before this one. I'm going to put these things on Quora uh, because um, I, I started work ages ago on an echo chamber EP uh, called Black Light and of course all the echo chamber music is meant to be a little bit ironic uh, but this was uh, a, a project specifically designed to um, really investigate the nature of, of contrast, of good and evil, really, really quite um, difficult topics to do well. So it kind of collapsed. It, it, it didn't really work. But uh, just in the last three or four days, um, I, I've had a lot of thoughts about evil, about Satan, the, the, the devil, the evil one, whatever we want to talk about as uh, <laughs> that which is not good. Uh, and of course, Every time we, we venture into these sort of topics, um, Nietzsche comes up, um, all, all sorts of uh, various contributors to the philosophy of morality come up. But, but I really want to focus on the Bible. I, and in these last four days, I, I've been thinking about QAnon, something which I, I just can hardly believe um, and which I've already written some things about. Um, and then Trump's taxes <laughs> became a story. Uh, and I was sitting trying to process that, trying to... Uh, think epistemologically how much of this is spin from either side what are we seeing here in terms of of political um, uh, sort of propaganda and, and, and the nature of the game of uh, human rhetoric um, and all of those thoughts lead led to um, me making this song uh, and putting together all these thoughts in a in a sort of very concentrated format uh, which hopefully I'll be able to show you um, I commented to a friend ages ago that um, I'm a very bad artist <laughs> because good artists make things that are meaningful to other people and bad artists make things that are meaningful to themselves. Uh, so unfortunately all of my stuff um, contains a lot of things which I feel like I've thought a lot about and I don't necessarily communicate very well. So I'm going to uh, indulge me. Uh, let me try and explain some of what goes into these songs and, and they're more like essays with music. Uh, very, very short essays. Uh, so um, this is Consolidated Debt. Why is it called that? Consolidated Debt uh, is, is obviously with reference to um, these exposed tax returns, <laughs> um, how it looks like the whole character of this, this uh, incredible uh, sort of pantomime president is going to be uh, just uh, enveloped and 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 com always associated with this concept of debt and and um, this led me to what I think are some quite helpful thoughts about demonology about the nature of sin about the nature of evil and I, I've always had a thought which I believe I got from C.S. Lewis's um, uh, Voyage to per Perilandra that when I was reading. Um, um, Ransom's um, interactions with the devil character in that book, uh, that resonated with me very, very deeply. Uh, the banality of evil, the, 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 the senselessness of it. Uh, and I think Lewis, amongst other authors, really brings out the nature of that void. Uh, the fact that, that, that evil is really... Uh, it, it doesn't exist without something to antagonise, right? Um, so uh, my thought has always been that uh, the person of the serpent, the nature of evil as described in the Genesis narrative, um, is much more to do with uh, the way that man ironically creates something in his own image uh, as this sort of figure of disobedience. Uh, the serpent is there to start with, yes, but in, in what sense? <laughs> the serpent kind of conforms to any uh, any substrate, um, and and I want to just throw out the idea that that the serpent uh, is is an alternative. Uh, he he's not even um, wrong to start with. Uh, he's kind of beyond good and evil. He presents an alternative. It's the nature of freedom to be able 
to present alternatives. Did God really say? And I, and that sort of thought has been really bouncing around my head as I've watched um, political rhetoric for the last while. Um, all these questions of, was he joking? Was this person meaning that? What these? What are these words actually conveying? And of course, the meaning is created by the interpreter. Um, and I think that's what the serpent does. The, the serpent is no doubt a creation. I don't, I don't mean to suggest that, uh, that he is something um, that exists um, independently of the work of God. No, no, no. Uh, he is something that, um, like the opportunity to spend money we don't have, uh, the opportunity to uh, disobey uh, the one commandment, the, the one preventative sort of uh, uh, procedure, it, it, that, that he creates this void, a power vacuum, if you will, and, and mankind leaps into it. So, so consolidated debt here is about those sort of thoughts and how we become, we become what we own, we create that debt. And, and, and that's my sort of suggestion in the song. So I'm going to hopefully play it and, and, and talk you through some of the artistic decisions in this. And maybe we'll have a little look at the Studio One file. So Tycho drums, um, use of native instruments, uh, Thrill um, plugin. Um, these are references not only to um, executions and drum beats and, and sorry, I went away, uh, but but also references um, to chaos, to uh, string theory, <laughs> which is every time I'm using stringed instruments, I'm probably <laughs> making some sort of quantum joke. Um, but uh, it, hopefully people will notice that, that it's a heartbeat, right? It, it dum, bum, 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 bum. But this is sinus rhythm sort of stuff. So, so this is um, this is stuff about the heart, right? Okay, so the sound that you hear just before uh, the entrance of the voice is another interesting um, plugin um, called Kinetic Treats, and uh, it's uh, it's using toys. Um, so those are sort of twisted samples. Um, so there's an anal a, a sort of allusion there to, to we're toying with something, um, and um, th these lyrics, I'm trying to convey more than I can in a few words, obviously. But what is it that creates shame. Uh, I've written a couple of articles on this, but specifically uh, when God asked the question of the man, um, who told you you were naked? Right? I've talked about this a lot. Um, that's sort of an impossible question. Uh, nakedness doesn't exist. Nakedness has been created by whatever has just happened. Uh, and that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to allude to here is that uh, pay me what you owe me, of course, is a, is a again, an allusion to a, a, a parable in the Gospels of a, a, a debtor being owed by another debtor. And his calling of that debt, uh, of course, uh, is, is what brings his own judgment on him. Uh, you know, um, the, the king, uh, the, the God character in that parable um, judges him who has judged his fellow um, by saying, pay me what you owe me. And of course, uh, this idea of, of debt uh, is is what is in nakedness there. You know, that's that's been created. That wasn't there. It couldn't have been there. There's no such thing as nakedness. Uh, and that's been made up. So, so again, you know, the, this concept of um, absence being a thing uh, of negative value of debt. Uh, you know, what what do you owe? What do you owe? You know, pay me what you owe me. What's that? Well, I'll leave that up to you. Just make it last. Just, it, it's going to stay with you. It's going to define you. The world is waiting to see what you will make of me. Okay, so so that that's a little more you know uh, obvious. Uh, this uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Lewis's Perilandra uh, sort of dialogue here. Um, uh, what and, and this Satan character, this, this uh, accuser, is going to be created by the crime. He, he is going to be something that goes from having no particular 
um, directive, no particular purpose. Uh, uh, that's one of the beauties of, of the Genesis narrative is what's it all for? Why create? Why is this good? Why is there evil? Well, that, those questions don't really make sense prior to the fall. Um, things just are. And those, everything that is, is good. Um, <laughs> there's this real beyond good and evil. Uh, and, and the goodness itself is, 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 it's reduced by the application of the dichotomy. And, and that's what's about to happen. Um, Okay, so so again, this is this is drawn directly from from the Paralandra uh, sort of um, interaction. Uh, this idea that uh, you're missing out, that 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 God is holding out on you, woman, <laughs> um, uh, and and there's you know that becoming one. Um, uh, hopefully, there's the the. There's two parts. To, there's lots of parts to these lyrics, but but there's a, a, a sort of suggestion of infidelity there, of of, of this being an, a carnal sort of thing. Uh, uh, there's a suggestion of um, of collapse there, for, of of everything becoming this. You know what, what I think of as almost like a like a black hole sort of thing, a singularity. It all becomes one, become one with me. This nothingness is drawing you in, but of course it's not. The gravity is being created by your own mass, um, and uh, uh, you know, uh, claiming destiny. Well, what was the destiny? You know, mankind created in the image of God to begin with. What more is there to get? And of course that grasping of what was already given. Well, I want to suggest that this this original fall, right? The, the original sin is rape in marriage. Um, it is the taking of what was already given and the destruction of that in doing so. It's making a lover your slave. So I am uh, uh, there. I'm trying to uh, use the um, English translation of the divine tautology, um, Yahweh. Um, I am that which I am, and I am becomes the debt, it, he, the nature of God, the 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 being like God, which is what was already possessed, is stolen, and that creates this recursive debt. Uh, it just like uh, you don't have taxes <laughs> you don't have taxes before there is this concept of um have and have not right uh and this whole irony which is what got me thinking you know trump's hiding of this it's 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 almost you know a, a really sort of um close analogy to to nakedness you know i, I i'm a rich man really show us uh, no <laughs> what's what's behind the facade is, is, is nakedness, is shame, is, is all the opposites of what the, the, the people in the story think they're getting by taking. Okay, so, uh, of course, um, Taking love to be one's own makes no sense. Uh, love is always participatory. Love is a communal thing. So taking what was a relationship and, and making it a possession. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like owning a wife. Um, and similarly, uh, that, that's a way to turn freedom into slavery in the same way that uh, the monetary debt, own, owning something... Uh, via this mechanism of exchange, uh, for what? Uh, like, uh, the, <laughs> this, again, this is negative value here. Uh, you've you've made a way to become what you were trying to avoid, and you didn't even need to because you weren't that to start with. <laughs> All right, 
right, so, so I'm trying to just summarize this concept of reflection, of irony, of uh, iso uh, uh, stereoisomers, left versus right. Um, the uh, uh, you know is, is meant to be a uh, reference to having the knowledge of good and evil, but also the uh, torturous understanding that comes from the realization of what has been taken. And I want to suggest that what has been taken, what's been stolen, what's been what's been ripped out is the heart of God. Uh, and uh, there's a really lovely parallel to um, the um, uh, prodigal son narrative here that that when we realize that for a son to take the inheritance um, before a father had died, um, that was wishing death on the father. Effectively, I, you are nothing to me. You don't exist. You're, you're, you, you are irrelevant. I, I want your stuff, but you, you are nothing. Uh, and and I suppose in our in our culture, we don't understand the uh, what that would have meant uh, to a, an ancient father uh, to to for a son to ask for the inheritance uh, while you're living. Uh, it is a death sentence. Um, and of course it's given, it's given, the father gives it. Uh, and I think the prodigal son is really the reflection of the entire biblical narrative. Uh, we have this taking of what was already yours. In what way is the inheritance not yours? It's only a matter of time. And of course it's an inheritance that is established by the relationship. And you've destroyed the relationship, taken the stuff without the person. And of course, that then leads to this wallowing in the in the desert, in the pigs, you know, th th this 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 unrewarding, awful materialism in a way. Um, but then, of course, the father takes that son back. Um, his love is infinite. Uh, you cannot destroy. <laughs> you cannot destroy that. But you can isolate yourself from it um, freely. Okay. Um, and of course, when we do that, when we destroy love by seizing what was already given, uh, that swallows us. That guilt, that shame, that what is thought to be pride, but really it, it, is, it is suicide and, and it swallows us whole. Here's Ouroboros. Um, my apologies to the artist that I have somewhat stolen this from. Again, that's a bit of performance art. Um, uh, and and uh, I've applied a filter which has twisted it. <laughs> so, so here you have Ouroboros and the Tree of Life. Uh, and I have deliberately mangled that. Um, now I want to show you what I'm doing with the Studio One file here. Um, just one really, again, these are the sorts of thoughts that I try to put into multiple layers of this sort of stuff. Uh, when we have a look here at the, uh, at the guitar part, I'm using Native Instruments um, um, guitar rig, and this is making use of a, um, a Muse preset, uh, which is MK Ultra. Um, and uh, I, I MK Ultra, if, if anyone isn't familiar with it, it is was a, uh, a project um, run by the U.S. military, which is really oh, an attempt at mind control. It's it, it's it's a subject of a lot of conspiracy theories, and I don't mean to actually invest in that at all. But I, I'm trying to use that sound to suggest that yes, this is there is a loss of independence and a, and a sort of really terrible madness that's going to happen here. Okay, we don't need to listen to all that. So uh, I just want to point out a couple of other little quick things that um, when we get back into the chorus here, um, there's brass there. Uh, that brass is me. Um, this is the one thing I'm actually kind of trying to do, play these old cornets. And uh, this is, um, if it's if it sounds a bit Soviet, <laughs> you know, da 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 it's meant to. Um, I've long thought of uh, some aspects of that real uh, golden age uh, of Soviet communism as almost the perfect uh, capturing of this humanist 
uh, self-reliance, the self-dominance, the uh, loss of freedom for the purpose of power, all that sort of stuff. So it's, it's meant to be evoking um, thoughts of militarism, thoughts of nationalism, thoughts of uh, the rise of empires uh, and the oppression that that produces. Of course, what, what is mankind oppressing? Mankind. So just to finish this big long rant, and I'm sorry I haven't covered even half of what I wanted to get at, uh, but here, self-love, this is Narcissus, this is uh, the sort of thing that produces a person who believes in their absolute power, and yet the reality is that they are empty. And, and I want to propose that evil is that emptiness that is created which becomes vacuous which becomes distorting which becomes ironic which turns us into the things we hate uh, that's what i see a lot of now uh, i see people who think they're rich men who want to call themselves billionaires and really they're criminals that owe money uh, I, I see people who are campaigning for justice uh, when really um, they're bringing fear and violence, uh, I see I see freedom fighters who are terrorists, and this is always the way that it's been. This is black light. Uh, this is the sort of stuff that happens um, when we consume that which should be guiding us. When we make that light internal, and of course, uh, when we consume that which should be uh, guiding us, um, we're left in darkness and that darkness is perpetual and perpetuated. Uh, and that's what this consolidated debt is about. Uh, it keeps just adding up. Hope that's some help.